I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Dodgers vs Reds, my team pick is Reds 1.5 runs. This is one of the better games on Saturday's MLB schedule. And I feel like this pitching matchup has the potential to make this an instant classic. With that being said, this seems like a great spot to make the rare move to play the underdog on the run line. I'm riding with the Reds 1.5 at minus 118. Hunter Green just faced the Dodgers last weekend, and he managed to hold this lethal lineup to just two earned runs over 6.1 innings. That was the right-hander's second straight quality start, and he owns a 2.63 era and 1.25 whip over 24.0 innings this month. Furthermore, Green has been the Dodgers' kryptonite throughout his young career, where he's limiting the current roster to a slash line of just .120 forward slash .185 forward slash .240 over 50 at-bats. With Green being on his home mound in front of an ecstatic home crowd, I think he'll give his team the chance to win, or at least keep it close. Give me the Reds 1.5 runs. My total pick is under 9.5 runs. So considering Green has carved up the vaunted Los Angeles lineup throughout his career, I'm going to play the under at this elevated number. Cincinnati's bullpen has also held its own this year, ranking 17th in era 4.03 and 12th in whip 1.26. On the flip side, the Reds have been arguably one of the worst defenses in the league this season. They're heading into the weekend ranked 30th in team batting average 0.215, 28th in LPS 0.656, and 20 in home runs 48. In terms of head-to-head -head numbers, Cincinnati has struggled against Walker Bueller, slashing just .171 forward slash .194 forward slash .229 over 35 at bats. Bueller just blanked this roster over 6.0 innings last weekend punching out a season-high seven batters. I think we're in for another low-scoring contest, so I'll play the under at this outrageously high number of 9.5 runs. Phillies vs. Rockies, my team pick is Phillies minus 1.5 runs. Aaron Nola will get the nod. Nola resumed his strong pitching in his latest outing, holding the Nationals to only two runs in seven innings in a dominating win. The veteran is in a groove, posting a minuscule 1.80 error this month and has delivered a strong 3.05 era and a 1.05 whip, accompanied by a 6-2 record in 65 innings on the season. Nola held the Rockies to one run in 7.1 innings last month and has produced a 3.37 era and a 4-2 record in 10 career outings. The Phillies have the best record in the big leagues and have dominated their division rivals. Three of their last four series were divisional opponents, winning all but two games in that span. They swept the Nationals this past weekend and recorded another sweep, winning three meetings against the Rangers this week, squandering only eight runs. Alec Bohm has been dominating at the plate all season. The star third baseman has collected another nine RBIs in his last five games and has accrued 16 RBIs on the month. Bohm is hitting point, double three zero with 46 RBIs and a dazzling point eight nine eight ops on the year. He has two hits and one RBI against the Rockies this season. The Phillies continue to shine at the plate and are averaging 5.41 runs which continues to lead the big leagues. The pitching staff has a 3.14 era, good for third. The Philadelphia Phillies continue to win most games and there is no reason to go against this squad. They have delivered a dominating 8-2 mark in their last 10 bouts and have one of the best road records, standing at 1-5-7 on the season. The Rockies have lost 5 of their last 7 games after a series loss to the A's prior to this series. Furthermore, Aaron Nola just pitched against the Rockies last month, and it was a gem, holding them to one run in 7.1 innings. The veteran has produced a 3.37 era in his career against Colorado. Rockies pitcher Dakota Hudson has issued a 5.03 era this month. Each of the Phillies' previous four wins have been by at least two runs. My team pick is Phillies minus 1.5 runs. My total pick is over the total. Guardians vs. Angels, my team pick is Guardians to win. 
There is a significant difference between how these starting pitchers have been doing throughout the season as Tanner Bybee is 1-0 with a 1.69 era and a .212. Opposing batting average in five roads starts 26.2 innings, while Jose Soriano 0-3 with a 7.07 .07 era and a .280 batting average against. During his 14.0 innings in four games at Angel Stadium three starts this season, these bullpens throughout the season also show a significant difference. The Guardians are best in baseball with a 2.52 reliever era while the Angels are down in 28th place with a 4.94 bullpen era. Go with the Cleveland Guardians to win on the road here. My total pick is over eight runs. These offenses have been performing well in the month of May as Cleveland is scoring 4.38 runs in their 21 games in the month while Los Angeles is averaging 4.45 runs in their 20 games in May. Both teams have done well slugging the baseball throughout the season, and it is a good sign of offense as the Guardians are 14th with a .394 team slugging percentage, while the Angels are 11th with a .400 slugging percentage thus far. All in all, go with over 8 runs in this game. Yankees vs Padres My team pick is Yankees to win. The Padres were dealt a big blow when they lost Xander Bogertz for the next two months. Bogert sustained the injury while diving for a ball during the first game of Monday's doubleheader. Luis Arias is covering second base and David Peralta was promoted from Triple El Paso to take his place on the Padres' active roster on Wednesday. Xander was hitting .219 before the injury with only four homers, but his defensive presence makes a difference for the Padres' infield. Cease was on fire to open the year, but got tagged last week and will face a Yankees team that leads the majors in ops take the Yankees to win the second game of this series. Marlins vs Diamondbacks My team pick is Diamondbacks minus 1.5 runs. Miami won for the seventh time in 10 games as they took the rubber game of their series with the Brewers at home Wednesday. The Marlins entered Friday 17-34 on the season and are in the basement of the NL East, 20 games behind the Phillies for the top spot in the division. Against Milwaukee Wednesday, Miami finished with just four hits with no player having more than one. Jazz Chisholm Jr. hit his seventh homer, leading off the bottom of the first inning, and that was all the offense in the game. Jesus Luzardo 2-3 earned the win as he threw eight shutout innings, allowing three hits with no walks and four strikeouts. Tanner Scott worked the ninth, allowing no runs on one hit with no walks and one strikeout, for his sixth save of the year. Sixto Sanchez gets the ball for the Marlins as he makes his 13th appearance and sixth start of the season in this contest. He is 0-2 with a 6.41 era, a 1.6, double eight whip, 11 walks and 15 strikeouts over 26.2 innings of work on the year. Sanchez took the loss in his last start, which came Sunday at home against the Mets. He threw four innings, allowing four runs on six hits with two walks and two strikeouts in a game the Marlins eventually lost 7-3. In his last three starts, Sanchez has a 0-1 record with a 4.26 era, a 1.66 whip, seven walks and six strikeouts over 12.2 innings of work. In his 20th career major league appearance and 13th start, Sanchez pitches against the Diamondbacks for the first time here. As a result, this marks his first career start at Chase Field as well. Miami has played better baseball of late, winning seven of their last 10 games, but the fact remains that they are buried in the basement in the NL East and likely will try to sell off anything not nailed down ahead of the trade deadline. The Marlins are just 7-15 on the road this season entering Friday night and Sanchez is still trying to get up to speed after not pitching in the majors the last three seasons. Montgomery is still getting up to speed after signing late in spring training but the Diamondbacks are at home here. We know the Marlins struggle offensively and they aren't a good road team. Give Arizona the upper hand in this contest as they get the upper hand in the middle game of this set. My total pick is over.